Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from the dealership, Lakewood, New Jersey. We're out here again. Heard a rumor they have quite a few 2022 Tundras up this way, so we figured we'd take a ride. It's going to be in the high 60s, low 70s today. Sun is just coming up about 6.45 a.m. right now. Check out the used. I think it's still the same two used trucks, but why not give it a look? A lot of us out there still love the 14 to 21, so this is that Platinum that we've seen here quite a few times. Quick walk around of these two used, like I said, because we've been here quite a few times. $58,000, 2019, 9,291 miles. Things loaded up pretty nicely. This is the last year before they went push button start and end tune 3.0 and a little bit bigger of the screen, but Platinum still looks good. See those seats? Got the diamond stitch in it, heated and cooled, or should I say ventilated, 1794. This is a 2020, I believe, as you can see. There is no antenna on the fender. See how there is over there? No antenna, because it's now on the top. Beautiful 1794 interior, we love it. All black, I asked the question last week, I'll ask it again this week, we'll see if there's a price tag on it. If not, I will put it up. Uh, which one would you do? Platinum, 1794. And also, we've been doing a lot of dealership walks uh, this, actually the past few weeks, I like to save them for Sundays, but the reason we've been doing so many lately is just because of the facts that these uh, 2022s come in very randomly and, you know, I work overnight. So when I get out, if there's one sitting there, I want to film it. So I know a lot of you love the dealership walks. I certainly love the dealership walks. So hope you don't mind. Uh, we'll walk over here and see how many new, see if any sold on Saturday. Um, like I said, they had a few on their website listed as inbound. But I did hear they got a few in. Uh, that's that 2017, I believe. It's been sitting here for quite a while now. That's a limited. Let's take two seconds and take a look at it. I believe this is the one that was on the other side for a few months. Black limited, can't go wrong. No TRD package or anything on it. It's just your standard limited. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And if this is the 2017, it's the year before Toyota Safety Sense started. So if you're not into all the extra stuff, there you have it. 54450 2017, 17057 on miles. Not a bad looking truck. The old school chrome grill. See how there's no uh, Toyota Safety Sense. That's just a regular badge. That pops off very easy and you could put an all black one if you want to do that. Fog lights, still got the halogens. Let's get down to the new. All right, looks like I see a few 2022 brand new um, front ends there. So it looks like we got five. And it looks like we have a few different types, which is awesome. This will be the most that we've seen in one spot yet. So that's a cool thing. Showroom. Looks like they got one in there as well. That's an SR5. It's been in there for a while. They have that red Tacoma, same as last time. Here they are, folks. It looks like, let's see how good I am with my 2022. Limited double cab with the TRD package. I can see the wheels. SR5, SR5 TRD off-road crew max, SR5 crew max. And this one looks like a limited with no TRD package on it. So you get a really nice blend of trucks here. That's cool. So it's good to see these dealerships are actually getting some inventory in. So now we could walk it see what kind of pricing we got. Again, we're gonna go off of MSRP because all dealerships are different. Some mark up, some don't. So pay more attention to the MSRP to give you an idea of what these trucks will be around you. First one, like I said, beautiful, limited, no TRD. They've done a great job with uh, the wheel selections on these new trucks that are non-TRD. I think they've come a long way. Never really been a fan of the non-TRD wheels in the last gen. Some are nice, but this is a really nice truck, mag gray metallic double cab um, you know if you're not gonna have four grown adults or five grown adults sitting in it because it looks like that back seat quite a bit smaller we've talked about that a few times 20 inch wheel and tire package on there love the mirrors this thing's gonna be loaded up pretty good let's go over it so the sticker on it's 55089 the markup 71728 all right this is four by four this is the double cab with the six and a half foot bed. Obviously, that's the only, well, it's not the only option. If you get SR and SR5, you can get the 8.1 foot bed. This has the JBL 12 speaker premium audio, 645, limited premium package, 395, panoramic view monitor with cameras, 950, limited power package, 385, 
power tilt slide moonroof with sliding sunshade, 850. Heated leather steering wheel, 150. All weather floor liners, 169. Once again, limited double cabs now come with a moonroof. That's the first time a moonroof has ever been offered on a double cab. So that's cool. Composite bed. Nice big tundra across the back. A little bit of chrome. I actually like the look of this one a lot. It has the sensors and everything. It has the, the 360 bird's eye view. That little window opens up. Uh, it's powered. You don't have to do the old tab anymore. So let's go off, like I said, the MSRP here, 55089. All the prices are up on the new Tundras. We know that. So again, I always say this, in the world of Tundra pricing, what's your thoughts on this? Not in the world of just pricing in general because everything is up, but just in the world of Tundras for 2022, how are you feeling about this truck? Front end looks good. This is the first time I've seen a limited front end that wasn't TRD. So that's the regular limited grill. It looks really good. I guess it's the same as the SR5 looking at it next to each other. But uh, for some reason, this thing's popping a little more to me. That's a good looking truck right there. Here is a white SR5, which I gotta be honest with you, looks really good to me. It has the white surround, not the chrome. This doesn't have a chrome surround. That's like a machine silver. Looks a little bit better. This one just has the body color white all the way around. Actually looks good with the black contrast in it with the grill and everything. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of where it says Tundra. They wish that would be body color as well. But on the white, it looks pretty good with everything uh, black accented on it. Um, truck looks nice. It's got the side steps, Predator side steps, 18 inch wheel package. Um, not a huge fan of the wheels, but it is what it is. Again, mirrors look awesome. SR5. This has the big monitor in their 14 inch screen. These are all obviously non-hybrids. Hybrids are not out yet. This is your 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo. Tundra across the back. There is no chrome, which looks really good on this. Black handle versus on the limited you get chrome. 4x4. Four four. There's your chrome right there. And the badges are in chrome, but overall good looking truck. I like this lip. What do you think of that? Some people like it, some people hate it. Let me know in the comments below. Composite bed, non-spray on again. Love the taillights on the new truck. It was long overdue for taillights. Uh, got the black part over the wheel well. What do you think of those? Love to hear all your comments always. Good, bad, and ugly. So this one here, sticker is a little ripped. 52664, 69303 with the markup. But like I said, we're focusing right here. This has premium audio package. I can't really see the pricing, so forgive me. Uh, blind spot monitoring, outer mirrors, SR5 premium package. That gives you the soft text leather. SR5 convenience package, blind spot monitoring, the bigger fuel tank, leather steering wheel, all weather floor liners. Um, that premium audio package gives you that 14 inch audio multimedia screen. Can't really make it out this way, so I gotta go back around this truck because of the mirrors. Maybe I need to get back on the treadmill a little bit to fit between these trucks. Laugh it up. This is a really good looking truck. Honestly, the uh, non-TRD white with the black looks super good. You gotta let me know what you think in the comments below about that. Two good looking options so far. And here we go. Okay, I'm gonna say a lot of great things about this truck. This is the first celestial silver one I've seen, I think, but definitely in the TRD off-road with the SR5. Okay. At first I didn't like the SR5 TRD off-road wheels. Now, with this setup, the chrome, the silver, and the black all work together very nicely. I will tell you right now, before I even go down the line any further, this is probably going to be my favorite. This thing is nicely put together color-wise. I am not a fan of chrome, and I don't like the chrome lip around the front like that, around the grill. But this one just does something. It just all flows together nice. I've always said that about silver. Silver brings chrome and black together, but... Uh, the wheel well moldings around it and all that just it just looks good the side steps look good it looks like a really well built truck i don't know if you can see the views that i'm seeing with my own eyes but this thing definitely looks really good with the silver let me know what you think in the comments below they blacked out the badges which help a lot this thing is pretty much chrome free other than that front lip it's body color handles sensors you get a little chrome there you could take care of that if you want Tundra across the back, which again, that has grown on me. TRD off-road, just so everybody knows what you spent your money on. So this is 52378, it's 6917 with the markup. 
This gives you the TRD off-road package for $2,090. That gives you all the TRD stuff. We've read this a bunch of times. Um, you get a little bit more nowadays. You get the crawl control, the multi-terrain select, downhill assist. Also gives you the TRD convenience package, $1,570. Blind spot monitoring, front and rear assisted, or excuse me, front and rear parking assist, and automated braking in the larger fuel tank. Heated leather steering wheel, 320, all weather floor mats, 169, non skid spray on bed liner we'll have to check that out 579 stainless steel door edge guard once again 52 378 so let me know what you think of that this is all four by four stuff we're looking at i like the spray and bed liner i actually like this more than the composite option um just a big fan of the spray ons i like the tundra across the back as well that window goes all the way down please keep in mind these are all terrain tires on here they look pretty good you know pretty much like the michelin's these are Michelin LTX trails, so they're a little bit different than the old ATXs, but same idea. Please let me know, of all the trucks that we've looked at so far, what you think of this. I don't know, like I said, if it's the naked eye, the way it's sitting, but the tires look good, the lift looks good on it, which is just your stock height. The steps look good. This is, this is the winner for me right here. Just everything there, a solid put together truck, and it's a high volume seller, SR5 TRD off-road. Someone is gonna be very happy with this. And this is an SR5. I like what we're doing here today. If you think about it, we got a limited, regular SR5, SR5 TRD off-road, and another SR5, all black. So you get the black grill, the black surround. We can change those out. I would put those TRD wheels over there on this, and this thing would be perfect. All blacked out all around. Predator side steps once again. Do a quick look at this. This has the regular screen. I don't know if you could see that in there. 8.1 inch regular screen if you don't like that big 14 inch one, composite bed. Now, just real quick, see the composite bed, mental picture, and see the spray on. Which one do you like more? I don't know, I, I think I want the spray on. Big tundra across the back, go see the pricing. I'm guessing it'll be the same as the white one over there, roughly. Maybe some different options. It doesn't really have much going on on it. So it started out as 45,805. It went to 49,229 and they're selling for 65,868. So this is nice. If you want to just get in the truck, four by four, of course. But yeah, that's, you know, there's not much you have to do as far as look here. I mean, if anything, I'd be changing the wheels to the TRDs. But other than that, this is a good looking truck. And we saved the best for last. Blueprint Double Cab TRD Limited. This is a pretty truck right here, man. TRD grill, boom. See how the grill's different when it's TRD. Tundra, got the fog lights. I love the headlight look. We talk about that a lot. Some people don't like the hood. I am a fan. I am a fan. Personally me, I dig it. Love those wheels, as I've been saying. Now, in case you're new to Tundra, or in case you don't know this, if you get the TRD off-road in Limited or 1794, those are the wheels you get, 20 inch. TRD wheels. If you get the SR5 TRD, they're 18 inch wheels that look a little bit different. Blueprint is a beautiful color. Even the chrome looks good on it with the handles and the badging. Big 14 inch screen I can see from here as the sun comes up behind it. Bilstein shocks on there. This is gonna have the big 32 gallon fuel tank for sure because it's a limited. I hope it has a sunroof because that would tie this thing together nicely. Spray on bed liner, four by four. Get rid of that chrome on the handle and I'm good sensors this thing's loaded up nice truck for sure i don't think there's a sticker oh it's up here you barely see it and it's just i don't know if you could see that 56387 that's the stuff that's on it i can't really see it uh, so 57,000 or so and it does not have from what i can tell maybe you could tell me I don't think it has a moonroof on it. That would have made this perfect. This is a nice truck right here. Power folding mirrors, what's up? I like this one a lot. I don't know. I don't know which one I would want more here. If I was here to buy today, it would be between this and that SR5 TRD over there. Which one would you do? That's the question of the video right there. Let me know in the comments below. Of these five, which one would you do? The good news, my friends, is we are now starting to see the next generation Tundras or the current 2022s on the lot, my local one. And now this one here, we're seeing five on the lot today. It's gonna to be a nice summer of filming Tundras. I'm so happy they're back. It's been months since I've seen this many Tundras on the lot. And we're gonna have, if you like the 14 to 21, um, 
the 07 to 13s, they're going to be on the lot too as used. So we'll get a wide range of all the Tundras. You gotta let me know in the comments which one of these you like for me. It's either going to be the silver or this blueprint. And, uh, you know, I'm not thinking about cab. I'm buying a Crew Max for sure. But just from the look of the truck, the wheels, the package, all that stuff, that's a close one. Let me know what you think in the comments below of your favorite truck of these five. While driving out, I saw a pre-owned Tundra that I have always been a big fan of. This is the SX. This is a nice looking truck. So it's how you get into a Tundra, and we're talking last generation, 2021. It's how you get into a Tundra cheaper and you get the looks though. Everything's body color, blacked out on this, blacked out wheels. Just the SX badge in the back there. You get it four wheel drive. Um, there's not a much, or excuse me, there's not a lot going on on the inside. Fabric interior. Uh, you know, not bad, but you know, it's not a bench seat or anything, so you still get that. There's no sticker on this. You don't get the sliding rear window. There's no sticker, like I said, but we will put the pricing up now. I think it's on the website. Just a really clean truck. Just the way everything flows together nicely. I love the fact that Mike Sweers and his team came up with this. Like I said, it's how you get into a Tundra cheaper, but you don't get the cheap look. This thing looks like it could be a TRD Pro. Uh, everything body color with the blacked out wheels and pretty much the same wheel as the TRD uh, off-road. It just doesn't have the silver plating on it. So a great job uh, by the team at Toyota with this truck. So if you're interested, this is a good one. Got the big logo above it. I like the look of that. SX, definitely the way to go in last generation to save a little money.